Well, we're looking for Pier David. It's a type of Chinese deer. These are cows and calves. And we were thinking that maybe there would be a couple of bulls in here, but we haven't seen anything yet. We've got an overcast day, which makes it nice. But also we lose the shadows, you know? It's a two-edged sword when you're spotting and stalking. When it's sunny out, you've got heavy shadows, and if you can stay in the shadows, you can stay hidden. But if you do get in the sun, it's easy for the animals to see you. It's pretty much even light, and so it's a lot harder to stay hidden. You know, the hill country of Texas is pretty dry country, and a lot of the big ranches here have to have places where they have large supplies of water, which is not only do they have big lakes, but they've got a lot of small lays of water like this, shallow lays that have aquatic plants in them, and that's perfect for the Pier David to, to feed. They like to feed on the green grasses that grow around these water sources and also the aquatic plants inside. You can see the mud here where their feet splay out just like a moose and so they can walk in this mushy mud with no problem. And behind me here there's a big wallow, just like elk, just like red stag, these Pier David will wallow. You, know, you get insects here and they'll wallow in these mud pits and, and try to coat themselves in mud. And they'll actually put their head underwater to eat the aquatic plants, so it's pretty crazy how well that these animals do in Texas. This is a perfect situation. We found the Pier David there in this water hole. It's got good cover all around it. They're fighting right now. I'm gonna try to get closer. One interesting fact is that the Pier's David deer has been extinct in its native China since 1939. But before its total demise, was reintroduced into England. These English Piers David deer were then introduced into New Zealand, Texas, and also repopulated back into several parks in China. This amazing story is the result of conservation, and now the Piers David deer can be legally hunted again, with proceeds used to proliferate these amazing animals. was exciting. We finally found the Pier David. They're in the water. They're fighting. I was able to slip around here. I thought my shot was a touch low, but it was in a perfect spot. He didn't even make it out hardly out of the water. You gotta love it when you don't have to wait 30 minutes. He was in the water right there. I shot across the water. He went 20 yards and goes down right here. Two blade, Rage Extreme. Here's the shot. Looked a little low to me when I hit because I was aiming for up in here, but it was a heart shot. Let me put my bow down. Look at this beautiful Pier David. Oh man, check it out. Look at that. Huge, huge antlers. And these antlers have these kind of like back points like a caribou would have, but these are just tines and they grow out the back and typically they'll fork in the back. This side forks his left, but his right doesn't. And he's got these fronts here, kind of almost like a caribou would have again, but they're nothing like a caribou. They're more like a water elk. These Pier David are wild in China and you can hunt them in Texas. They got huge feet too, almost like a moose. I don't know what this one weighs, but he's a nice one. It's pretty exciting when you come to a place like the Tom Miranda Boning Camp where it's set up for bow hunting and you can have the opportunity to hunt so many different species. I'm here the end of October, it's almost Halloween, and the whitetails are already starting to rut. So you get on stand, you get in the blinds, you're going to see whitetails chasing, bucks fighting. These animals were fighting. We have been looking all day to find these. The ranch is huge. 
and you just gotta look and look and look some more. We had an overcast day and we wanted to do some stalking. We found the females earlier this morning, but we could not find the males and then we hit water hole after water hole till finally we peek over the edge and here they are. There were four, two of them were fighting, two of them were in the water. Then they started fighting and it gave me an opportunity to get the shot. I just love bow hunting and this is why. Look at this beautiful Pier David. You know, bow hunting exotics in the Texas Hill Country is much more than a fun and challenging hunt. Traveling out of state and experiencing new species, new climates, new habitats, builds a bow hunting resume of new skills and tactics. Add in the chance to hunt animals like axis deer, neogai, black buck, fallow deer. It makes the bow hunting camp a great change of pace for a spring or a fall bow hunting experience.